Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine Show. Good Sports is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Dr. Lynn McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. For an appointment, call them at 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. And by the Surplus Exchange. Take a tax donation credit plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. For more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. This show was recorded live on Saturday, February 21st. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. I'm Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Today we're here at Kansas City Chiropractic. Dr. Lynn McIntosh and the staff of Kansas City Chiropractic understand the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. Kansas City Chiropractic is located just west of the plaza at 4510 Bellevue. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit their website, kansascitychiropractic.com. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations. And with the March issue, KC Sports celebrates our 18th straight year covering sports in KC. This month, in our hockey report presented by the KCI Center, we write about Lamar Hunt Jr.'s purchase of the Mavericks and the upcoming merger between the KC Stars and the Junior Mavericks Youth Hockey Organization. And in our college sports report presented by the Surplus Exchange, we catch March Madness with stories on KU's Brandon Green, K-State's Trey Harris, and we discuss the woes of the MU basketball team. Now, you can visit and interact with our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com, to find a link to a list of locations where you can find Kansas City Sports. And you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website as well. Now, I also want to mention that you can now get a free subscription to the digital version of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. And all you have to do is go to our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com, and sign up where it says Join Our Fan Club. Then watch your email for the next issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Now, as I mentioned, today we're here at Kansas City Chiropractic. We are joined by Dr. Lynn McIntosh, uh, who you've seen many, many times on our show, dating back to when we just did our radio show, only did our radio show. Dr. McIntosh is a board-certified chiropractor. She's licensed in Kansas and Missouri. And in addition to being licensed to provide general chiropractic care, Dr. McIntosh is a certified chiropractic sports physician. She works with athletes from multiple disciplines on specific sports-related problems. Uh, Welcome to the show, Dr. McIntosh. Well, thank you so much. And it has been so much fun over the years (laughs) talking about all the different sports injuries and especially as we related them to different uh, sports. And Kansas City is such a great sports city. I mean, it has just been terribly exciting we've seen you know the lacrosse in in high schools now for right. and we've seen you know Kansas City Sporting KC wasn't there when we started we didn't have <laughs> there were, I mean everything is really different running clubs but the marathons have really become much more popular and it's just an exciting it's an exciting city obviously the Royals last year did make it very exciting and a lot of fun for everybody oh yeah everybody is uh we're, we're back in uh, uh spring training I mode know, right now I know. It's everybody's exciting. excited about it everybody's waiting for the cold to go away so they yes. can get their world series gear back on <laughs> t-shirts back on and things like that last year you were you had the spirit you wore a, a royal shirt to one yes, of our tapings that absolutely. we did so uh yeah it was who wasn't l- but it, it was just so exciting it was oh, such yeah. a great it was such a great year. Well, we'll see. In our February issue, uh, our editor, Alan Eskew, writes a story about how uh, they are s- a computer said that they're going to lose 90 games. So, <laughs> so uh, you know. And that's what I love about Kansas City Sports and Fitness. You bring <laughs> all those things in and talk about all the different components of sport. 
yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. So we will see how irate people get. You know, <laughs> I, I got some comments back from people that said, "Oh, no way," you know, things like that. But uh, emotion is certainly a part of the game. Yes. And the computers, I'm sure, not taking emotion into the into that. Well, so. I'm going to disagree that we're going <laughs> to lose that many. So. So what are you predicting? How many wins? I'm just kidding. I have no <laughs> idea, but it's not going to be. It's going to be more wins. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's there what we, we go. Want. Yeah, that's that's what we want. Well. Um, as a part of sports, uh, mm-hmm. you know, one of the things that you hear often is that injuries are a part of sports. Absolutely, they are. And there's a lot of ways to treat injuries, and one of those is acupuncture. Uh-huh. We're going to talk about that today. Let's start uh, first off with what happens when you sprain your ankle or, or mess up your shoulder or, or you know, what mess Absolutely. up your elbow and things like that. What's going on inside of us when that happens? Well, each one is a little bit different, but uh, sure. for the most part, obviously... If you have somehow either had an impact, so a collision, a, a sprain strain, and an, a bruising are different, but we're going to talk about them t- kind of the same in that they both create inflammation. Mm-hmm. And what inflammation does is your body basically is rushing all kinds of things to that area. Right. Now, a bruise is a break in a blood vessel, so that's uh, leaking out into the interstitial tissue around it, and that's where you're seeing the discoloring. Right. Uh, and often those go together with mm-hmm. just when you overstretch, over pull, tear uh, a different either tendon, muscle, ligament, something like that. And so your body is bringing it like if you have a sprained ankle, when you talk about a really bad sprain and all of a sudden, poof, it's just swollen up. <laughs> it's because, uh, you know, we're around a break. It wants to splint that area. Right. And so there's there's a. I think it's 54 different things that are in uh, inflammatory soup, and that's what it's (laughs) called. And, you know, it's got everything, prostaglandin P, it's got, you know, different pain receptors, it's got all kinds of things in there. But, and some are nutrients to try and help it, but it's mostly just to splint the area. Right. So, uh, there's a lot of things we're treating, but acupuncture really does help speed the whole Mm -hmm. process. So acupuncture, the whole point of it is uh, very different from what we think of. So this is when we talk about what's happening, this is a very Western medicine idea of, oh, chemicals are coming in and and fluid is coming in and blood flow is happening and swelling and heat and pain and Mm -hmm. all that. Well, when you look at it from a Eastern or acupuncture standpoint, it is a disruption of the chi. And so that's everything in acupuncture is all about the chi and its flow. And so it is um, the ability of the body's natural life force, its natural energy hmm. to flow through the body. So let's think of it as a river. And okay. go, there's 12 bilateral meridians. So that's on one on either side. A meridian being? A meridian is that the area of where that energy is going to be for two hours. Okay. And so they they have a current to the meridian, but it's it, typically related to organs, uh, but not all. I mean, again, it doesn't really translate from Eastern to Western medicine. Right. I, even though you can have a heart meridian, a spleen, and a liver, and all these things, right. not all of them are related to an organ. And so it's it's that it, we're calling it that as the the pathway at which the river is flowing. Okay. And so now if we have an injury that's going to disrupt that flow. So the reason it's what we think of it as the 12 bilateral meridians and that the energy is in that area for two hours Mm -hmm. is in a 24-hour day, it will pass through your entire body. Mm -hmm. And so once we treat, we wait that 24 hours to see the full effect of what has happened with that first treatment. Okay. But um, so now we have a disruption because we either have that bruise, that that sprain, that tear, but whatever that physical thing is is we're more acupuncture is concerned with then the flow of the energy now two things if you think of it as as again that water where it's going if it's blocked it's kind of like a dam and so then right. it doesn't get the flow in the chi but what happens on the other side well now you have excess chi so you have <laughs> excess energy on one thing and whereas 
a lot of times we always think excess is good, more is better. That is not really true. Mm -hmm. In acupuncture, everything is about balance. I it's see. not too much, not too little. It's right. just the right amount. It's just at the right speed. It's all those things. Because, you know, if we do go with our water analogy, you know, a high rate of speed can cut the Grand Canyon. I mean, you know, and, <laughs> and that kind of stuff, which may not be what you're going for. Right. Uh, so it really has to be that natural energy circulation. And we also talk about acute, was a acute injury and chronic injury. Right. Those are different levels of chi. And so the more you've had it, the longer you've had something, the deeper it's penetrated into your chi. Hmm. And so, obviously, the longer it's going to take, the, it, it took a lot longer to get in, mm -hmm. and it's going to take a lot longer to go the other way. Hmm. So, that's, so there's a lot of differences in how you treat an acute, for all of us, right. whether you're treating it uh, from just a regular rice elevation compression um, rest component, right. or if you're going to treat it with acupuncture. Right. So, both of those are going to change as we have an acute injury and then as it progressively gets better right and and there you know it, it it's at a level that maybe we western medicine people don't necessarily you well, know when we've grown different. up with it it's yes. different but it works and uh sports teams we've only got about a, a minute or so in this segment uh -huh. but sports teams have found that um acupuncture can help the athlete that Absolutely. may have some sort of yes. an injury get back on the field faster. a lot of times they'll have a consultant even here in town in the 90s uh there was dr Maladnov yeah. uh, worked with the chiefs yeah. as a consultant and would do you know some he wasn't in the room all the time but uh you know they would certainly consult with him and he treated several of the players yeah uh Green Bay Packers, uh, they know we're treating a lot of them. I forgot, uh, most sports teams have some relationship mm -hmm. at this point in time. Uh, now, not not as much as you would think on a really consistent basis, but definitely they it's in their their group of things that they treat with. Sure, yeah, so. and I know that they use chiropractors as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, uh, Dr. McIntosh is going to show us how you insert the needle. Absolutely. Uh, uh, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine show. We're coming to you from Kansas City Chiropractic. They're located just west of the plaza at 4510 Bellevue. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KCI Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. These days, we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, new patients can get their initial consultation free. Mention KC Sports when you make your first appointment. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. Experience a touch of the Ozarks at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence. And right now, take advantage of off-season rates, $34 on weekdays and $42 on weekends. For tee times, visit winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. Become your own boss by learning how to invest in real estate in a free seminar hosted by millionaire real estate investor Robert Blair. To sign up for the free seminar, call 816-272-4338 or visit turnkeyhomebuyers.com. Phone or tablet screen cracked? Call iCrack Mobile Repair. They come to you to fix your phone. Call 816-844-3332 to set up your repair. 
Sign up now to get a free subscription to the digital version of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine and read KC Sports on your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Just sign up on our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com. That's kcsportspaper.com. Then watch your email to see next month's issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. PDF reader required by submitting your information. You agree to allow us to contact you with notifications and other offers from KC Sports, Good Sports, and our sponsors. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Today we're here at Kansas City Chiropractic. Dr. Lynn McIntosh and the staff of Kansas City Chiropractic understand the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. Kansas City Chiropractic is located just west of the plaza at 4510 Bellevue. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the U.S. Army high school top performers from Olathe North and Liberty High. And in our youth soccer report presented by Turnkey Home Buyers, we feature a story on the upcoming Kansas City Champions Cup, which has 600 teams participating. You can pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including Eagles Landing Golf Course, both Minsky's on Berry Road and at the Kansas City Ice Center. And, of course, coming up next month, we'll be back out at the Kansas City Ice Center, and the KCI Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. And if you have a business and you're interested in having us come out to do our show at your business location, call Good Sports at 913-764-2050. And now you can view Good Sports on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now we've been talking with Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic. She is a board-certified chiropractic chiropractor licensed in Kansas and Missouri. And she's also a certified chiropractic sports physician who works with athletes. And we've been talking about the fact that injuries are part of sports and acupuncture is one of the uh, treatments that you can get to maybe get you back on the field a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Yeah, absolutely. Absol yeah, absolutely. So uh, one of the things about acupuncture is um, it's natural. It's yeah. natural. It, it, you know, I mean, a, a lot of times you go to the, the medical doctor and they'll say to take an anti-inflammatory, but mm -hmm. this solution, you don't have to do that kind of stuff. Yes. Now, you know, in th there is a time and a place for everything. But sure. what I uh, do like about acupuncture is <coughs> that it is your own body system working together. Mm -hmm. And so this is to stimulate your body to work better on its own. Right. So how long have you been doing acupuncture? How many years have you been doing it in your practice? And, you, and, and it requires a lot of training. Well, it does. Um, I was going to say, I think... So we started in 2003. Okay. I think it was 2004 when we started, uh, and it has increased as we have the the more we've done, the the more of it we do. You know, right? Because it just really right. makes such a difference, and it really just changes everything about how people feel. It helps them manage stress. It it just makes you feel better overall. Right. Well, back in in 2003 to 2004, we didn't quite completely understand it as much but you know y well and you know again we, we talked about from a western standpoint mm -hmm. it's just very different we believe that it is translating this uh that energy flow right um through maybe myofascial planes but you know we it, we know that it works. Right. It is the oldest form of health care. It's been around for 5,000 years. It is predictable. And so you do these same things, and this the same result happens. And so that's really what we look for in any kind of medical right. care. And it's used uh, all over the world. And so obviously starting in China, and then it moved uh, both to Korea, Japan. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. been, you know, then the uh, French man mm -hmm. the frenchman came and he's the one who did the american system or the mm. the use letters as opposed to the old uh, chinese names for everything for the meridians and but we just know that it is predictable and that when you do the same thing you'll get the same results right and so it, it works it's a lot of fun right and uh, we've got somebody trying to call in on a late on a saturday afternoon yes. to, to to book an appointment uh <laughs> hopefully uh th they can see them on monday um, there you go uh y yeah it's it's predictable and uh one of the things that's kind of kind of different is uh, the places where you treat 
aren't necessarily the places where the pain is. Absolutely. In fact, very common, the point farthest away on the body from where the problem is, is the most important point for that. Hmm. And so that's always really interesting for that's people. That's very interesting. You know, for a toothache, it's in your, it's in the second toe. <laughs> uh, for hemorrhoids, it's on top of the head. I mean, you know, so it is. It's the opposite, as far away as you can get. But we were talking about that some people are really frightened of needles. And it is not like the needle that you are thinking of when you get a shot. Right. That is a big giant thing with a hole in the center to put a fluid in right. these needles are smaller than a human hair and so we talked about uh if you'd like to see one yeah let's we can do that yeah let's definitely do that um you had mentioned uh when we were discussing things that uh you could uh use your laser as well absolutely there's there's many ways uh, to stimulate an acupuncture point so it is well, we've just cleaned the area, okay. so I'm going to just show you an easy point oh, to sure. do on the oh, hand. Sure. And so what I'm going to do is just show you how... This is a very, very tiny, tiny needle. You probably can't yeah, see it. Yeah, camera probably isn't yeah, even picking it it's up. It's smaller than a human hair, and I'm putting it inside this tube just to deliver it so that it mm -hmm. only goes in just a little ways. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, even if you're frightened of needles, this may or may not be that's scary because again it's very very small right. and it does not it depends on this point some places are painful especially if there's not very much tissue but for some place like i'm going to do here is not painful at all and so then we'll just oh wow that in. was easy yeah Th that yeah. was quick and easy yeah. the way you did it that it takes yeah. absolutely no time and so that was a how deep i typically put it but you right. know we can slide it way down like that. Wow. And it's it doesn't hurt at all. Right. You yeah. Know, depending on where it's at. Yeah. So. Now, now, you can attach um, some additional yeah. things to that. You that can hook can up electrodes, yeah. and you can send a current through that meridian right. to pull the energy down and away from an area, to pull it up, to stimulate it, to subdue it. Uh, there's all kinds of things. And... You can use uh, acupressure, you know, mm -hmm. for some things. Uh, the laser is another way we use it. Uh, for children, I don't use needles. I right. typically stimulate it with the laser, so right. there's no needle at all and, and no pain, and it's very, very pleasant. Um, so if someone is afraid of needles, there are other things. We can still <laughs> use, acu you can use acupuncture points right. and still treat the same conditions. Right, Absolutely. yeah. Yeah, I know, I... I came to you for some back issues yeah. and you put something in of course my ears covered up but you yes. put something in my ear and you right. said every couple hours to just kind of touch it. it yeah, yeah. It, and it had to do it had to help my back yes which was weird. uh so there's several things that we can do we can use a, something called a seed and that is a tiny little stainless steel ball and that was originally mustard seeds were what they used. Oh, really? And that's why it's called a seed. There's something called a Keptone patch, which is a, a much larger uh, stainless steel. Uh, it's just a bump that basically is constantly pressing into that point mm -hmm. so that it, you get constant stimulation. And that's why I had you continue to right. touch it and continue right. to rub on it so that it was giving a, a longer and much more uh, stimulation mm -hmm. to that point. We can use uh, something, it's called a press needle. So it is a tiny, tiny needle, but it's got a little Band-Aid attached to it. And so it stays in place. We often use those in the ears, which mm. we talked about. Mm -hmm. And you can use them any place on the body. Right. So a lot of those are for different kinds of stimulation. So it can be much more for chronic conditions we're right. doing that for. Uh, definitely for your... Whenever you hear about smoking cessation and weight loss, those are going to have the needles in the ears hmm. and that people continually press them and, and to for when they're having symptoms. You know? it, interesting. How, how interesting. So, so when, when you do a treatment like, uh -huh. what, like what you've done there, yep. um, how many, I, I guess it depends on the injury and all that, but Absolutely. how many needles are generally used? Yeah. How long is the typical treatment? Yeah, the needle, the number of needles varies. Uh, a lot of Chinese, old, old Chinese practitioners want to use like one needle and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. or one on either side to, that would be the ultimate treatment. That of one course. thing would of fix course. it all. Yeah. You know, typically you're never going to use more than, than 20 needles and that's 10 right. points per side. Uh, that's not even the average. I would say I use, you know, somewhere between, oh, seven to 10. Okay. Uh, and it's about 15 minutes then. Okay. And then... 
it's the number of treatments does totally depend on the condition we usually do a course that's 12 uh, 12 okay. treatments right but it if I'm it just depends the, obviously the sooner you get to something right the less it's going to take usually to fix it yeah absolutely that makes perfectly logical sense there um, and uh, insurance does that sometimes work for some yeah I guess it depends on the plan that everything you have. is yeah. depend on on the company <laughs> and the plan so that we will call for you we right will find I out. gotcha I yeah. gotcha so tell people how if they're interested in acupuncture uh -huh. as a solution for a chronic issue or an acute issue right. acute is something you need to react to quick quickly yes a, um, well it just happened quickly yes a chronic is you've had that same condition for a long time so right. especially like for a sports injury a tendonitis a, like a elbow tendonitis right. would be more of a overused chronic right. condition right. versus a sprain strain right um it's kansascitychiropractic.com you can find us on facebook it's 816-753-4600 and we would love to talk to you yeah come to kansascitychiropractic.com and they've got uh, the solutions, the answers, the information on uh, on acupuncture and sports and acupuncture with uh, health for women and uh, all that kind of stuff. They can they can certainly share that information with you to to get you feeling a lot better. And acupuncture certainly works for uh, those types of injuries, but other things as well, like toothache and things like that. So uh, believe it or not, that will do it for our show today. My thanks to Dr. Lynn McIntosh for hosting us today uh, at Kansas City Chiropractic. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, and check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. You'll find it all over KC, and it's free, so pick it up today. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or your driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. KC North Spine and Joint Center is the only full-body active release provider north of the river. For sports injuries, foot, shoulder, knee, or hip issues, call Dr. Hildebrand at KC North Spine and Joint Center at 816-584-0413 or visit kcnorthsjc.com. Interact with our new website. Visit kcsportspaper.com and you'll find more content, more photos, more videos, plus episodes of the Good Sports TV Show, reader discussions, past articles and issues, contests, and more. And get a free digital subscription to KC Sports each month when you become a member of our kcsportspaper.com fan club. Sign up now at kcsportspaper.com. That's kcsportspaper.com. Experience a touch of the Ozarks at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence. And right now, take advantage of off-season rates. $34 on weekdays and $42 on weekends. For tee times, visit winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. The Army Reserve has more than 120 unique career opportunities so you can add to your current strengths or build brand new ones. Join the Army Reserve and you'll make a difference in your life and the lives of others. Learn more at GoArmy.com reserve. For more information, contact the Greater Kansas City Company at 3720 Arrowhead Drive, Suite B. Telephone number 816-531-3818. There's Strong, and then there's Army Strong, paid for by the U.S. Army. These days, we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, new patients can get their initial consultation free. Mention KC Sports when you make your first appointment. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. Hi, it's Greg Pryor. One of my favorite products in Life Priority is called Lift. See Lift at my website, lifepriority.com. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey Classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. 
That's 913-441-3033. Now you can view our shows and past shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. 